I like that. At least that. one of I our like guests that. is feeling very green this morning. It's looking like Halloween. It's just a few <laughs> weeks away. And if you're wondering how to transform yourself into a goblin or monster, makeup artist Sarah Berlin from the Battelle Conservatory is here with some tips. Good morning. It's Halloween already. Woo! Can you believe it? It's been a year. I know. Last time I was here, it was a year ago. And, and I got to tell you, I do. I, I tend to stress about, you know, the Halloween costume and everything. And if I had Sarah's talent yes. and I could just wear my normal clothes and be comfortable, <laughs> but be able to do something like this, I would be all set. Clearly, I cannot. But Sarah, you are helping people out there learn the tips and tricks of the trade, right? Absolutely. We have a workshop coming up on October 21st, Monster Mash Makeup Workshop. It is uh, $25, ages 10 through up, so adults can come too. I know you said you were interested, uh -huh. mm -hmm. so you can come learn. We're focusing on your main monsters. We've got a witch going on here today. Because um, last year you brought it, it was a zombie, right? If my memory serves yes. me correct. Okay, so zombies. So this year, I mean, is there going to be any zombie tricks this year? Are we focusing just on green monsters? Like, give us the variety <laughs> of what we can learn. Oh, we'll be learning uh, your zombies if okay. you want, your vampires, werewolves, your witches, um, Frankensteins. Okay. Do some, like, stitch work. Well, tell us about what you have going on here. She Absolutely. looks beautiful to me. I mean, I, you know, I understand we're going to take out a few more teeth. Yes, yes, we're going to we're going to blacken in a few more teeth. Um, yes. So today I have provided uh, some lovely warts. These are not natural, <laughs> although sometimes I joke that they are for her. But um, uh, using scar wax and nose putty that you can get at any Halloween store, as well as liquid latex. I've just kind of reshaped some of the contours of her face. Well, and let's talk about contouring. We try to contour <laughs> the best way the we can. With some TV days makeup. it looks like a mess over here, but this is kind of like the good mess. This yeah. is the contouring you want. Right, right. So we will also be going into contouring more in depth um, in the workshop, but talking about how uh, to follow the lines in your face and kind of bring out the bone structure that's underneath. I mean, you guys have great bone structure. I'm sure it's not hard <laughs> for you guys to No, we, we try, like Harley said, <laughs> we try every day. Sometimes it's a definitely a fail on our behalf. But the one thing you were, that was really interesting talking to you before, you said you want to play with textures and do that on the face, and you're going to be teaching about that. What do you mean by that? <laughs> so you can use a lot of different household items to provide different textures on your face, um, like cotton balls mixed with liquid latex that you get that, like, wound... Oh, Ew. lovely. Yeah. Um, I don't even want to touch that. <laughs> I don't want to put it on my face, Sarah. Oh, no, no. It doesn't feel weird at all. <laughs> um, it feels a little weird, but it's it's totally fine. Um, different kinds of cereals, all kinds of stuff. You mix it in with a little liquid latex. It gives just a different texture. Never look at cereal the same right? again. Uh, you're going to, let's go ahead and get, kind yeah. of show us what you have, because then you're going to blacken a teeth, and then we're going to add some, some red to this beautiful yes. face as well. Yes. So, um, you can use, now normally they have, uh, there are certain products that you can buy that are strictly for blacking out teeth that will help stay. Because uh, well, I can imagine uh, it would wipe off pretty easy. Uh, you will need to reapply if you are using uh, lipstick, which will work. Black lipstick will work. Just make sell black lipstick? Oh, <laughs> totally. Especially around <laughs> Halloween. Um, just make sure that you wipe off all of your... Uh, saliva okay. off the tooth before you apply Let's otherwise try. yeah otherwise it won't using? adhere this is um just black cream uh makeup okay from ben nye um it's one of their fx's and you're able to put it on your tooth yes just make sure the safety again yes no it's not if it's as long as it's like especially lipstick it's meant to be on your mouth okay. and stuff like that so if you're gonna go with mm -hmm. not a tooth enamel that yeah. you can buy, definitely go with a, a lipstick. Okay. This is, can be used as lipstick, so. <laughs> and I was gonna say, we're, we're actually starting to wanna refresh the details. Maybe while you're, we're doing that, you can kind of make the eye a little Absolutely. red, you're saying? Absolutely. Because apparently it's gonna give it a whole nother look, Sarah oh, tells me. I like right. it. But anyways, uh, the workshop coming up next weekend, you need to, to let them know, right, go ahead and get tickets today, or go ahead and sign up today. Yep, you can call our admissions office mm -hmm. and, uh, look up and go ahead and uh, reserve your spot so we know that you're coming. Oh, it's like bloody eyeliner. That's beautiful. Right? Yeah, <laughs> it's totally like bloody eyeliner. Turn a little. I was going to say we're, we're kind of finishing up here as uh -huh. we are going to break. 
Yeah, that just look looks painful. Oh, it that's, does. It's supposed to look evil and painful. Oh, it does. <laughs> Greatest Good monster we've seen, there. I know. Lots of fun. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you as well. We appreciate our wonderful <laughs> model. Take that off with baby wipes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Good to know. And